I've been having a lot of fun lately. Oh wait, I better tell you about the date. It's March 1st. It is the, the beginning of the month where we have the spring equinox coming up, which is of course tied to our TG retreat, TG town or something that will be happening on the fall equinox. So we have about six months till that autumn equinox, I guess is a better term for that. Anyway, um, I've been sort of distracted lately playing feeling guilty about not being able to play some of my old pieces. So that was one of them. Um, anybody that has some of the albums, I'll let you guys figure out which, which ones they are. Um, last night I got up in the middle of the night and was doing this. this. This was not popular around the house. This song is not popular around the house. I was working on this one as well. Wait a minute. Um, really old pieces of mine, all of them about 10 or, 10 or 12 years old from the early days, because partly related to our get together in the fall. Well, never mind. I gotta save that for later. Uh, let's see, what has been going on around here? We've had uh, some interesting things happening on the forum. What am I gonna talk about today? I'm gonna talk about a couple of books that I heavily recommend because I mentioned earlier, or like towards the end of last year, that there were a couple of projects I was working on that I wanted to kind of beef up everybody's knowledge, and then I found, I remembered two great books that uh, everybody should have and that way I don't have to recreate the wheel. And actually they might be required materials for, uh, they will be suggested materials for anybody that's thinking about coming to join us in September. But um, anyway, I'm going to get to that, talk a little bit about some things going on on the forum and uh, that's kind of it today. I sort of need to get packed and head out. So we may not have news next week. I think I gave you that warning last time. Actually I think I gave you the warning it was this time. I wasn't sure what day I was leaving. And, um, but if we do, it'll be a special treat. Well, it'll be different. Maybe it won't be a special treat, but it'll be quite different than all the other ones. Um, anyway, what's going on is a really fun song. Kevin, of course. He's having trouble strumming in 6-8 times. So anybody that wants to see a good lesson on, on counting and feeling something in 6-8, be sure to take a look at our elderly woman behind the counter in a small town. Pearl Jam tune that, that uh, Kevin brought in a while ago, so that's one of the fly on the wall lessons that came out this week. The other was um, Ed working on, I can't, I can't even fake this, I don't think. I guess I can. Is uh, Dire Straits, about Mark Knopfler's tune, Romeo and Juliet. Although there was an interesting comment on the forum where somebody said, hey, I love that lesson, why don't you do a full lesson on it? Um, I think I did. So hope you, hopefully you found that. And um, so those are our flies. Had a uh, student review Tom had been working on. love to see this box stuff uh, happening and as I mentioned before I'm trying to get into more classical stuff or get more of it up on the site but right now the planning for TG town is kind of uh, taking a lot of uh, taking a lot of my time so and uh, then a couple of the coolest lessons ever or wait I don't know about the lessons two songs that uh, Colin Young's tune, Sunlight. So I hope uh, some people enjoy the little jazzy, uh, some, some complicated timing and chord changes in that one. And then uh, I'm really glad to see people enjoying this stuff. Very cool that uh, Dean struck, struck out on his own and learned uh, Place to Be. Yes, I think that was it. And um, there's more Nick Drake in the on the schedule, in the pipeline, somewhere down the line. So uh, we'll be getting to a few more of his tunes. I've really been uh, enjoying listening to. Well, it's it's tough listening to Nick sometimes, but uh, you even heard a version of him playing Don't Think Twice the other day. 
he did a very early early home demos in about 1968 before he recorded anything. 67, I think it was. <laughs> anyway, so that's what was uh, going on for our, our target members. And um, let's see. Oh, so love the um, the support that folks were offering one of our new Target Light members. Target Light is, of course, a way to get like two songs a month for I think I think it's only ten bucks. I could be wrong, but um, and uh, kind of a good a good way to break into the whole thing. And but sometimes you can pick songs that are kind of difficult. Of course, when we laid out this program, the whole plan was for it to be kind of a comprehensive course where there's support all over the place and if you're having trouble with this song you need to go check this lesson on finger picking or this one on theory or whatever um, and of course target light came on a little bit later and so some of the some of the lessons can be tough at first but I really want to thank everybody who's who's uh, helped out our new member there with suggestions about checking out some of the free lessons and also was really glad to see that his uh, attempt at going to California was starting to make he was starting to make some headway on it Really, really cool. Um, uh, okay, I can't tell you about this right now, but one of my students was here. I hope I get this lesson up. But I have a student who's been working on a very special surprise for his wife. Hopefully she's not watching. I doubt it. And um, was really feeling bummed a few weeks ago, like he was not going to be able to get it together, trying to play something for her birthday by the end of this month. I will keep you posted on this, because he left his lesson last week, like on cloud nine, feeling like he's he's got it. So, But even just two or three weeks ago, he was, he was thinking, Oh, Neil, this is a bad idea. This is never going to work. No, 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 no. Okay, so we may have a new uh, a new member joining the Fly on the Wall Brigade uh, in the next couple of weeks. So um, keep you posted on that. Although I may hold it off till after he plays the tune for his wife. And uh, the all lessons thing. We are always that is always a thing under construction. So I appreciate the uh, comments and suggestions. We're trying to make that. Um, you know, obviously our part of our problem is the 500 lessons that we have. Well, that's just the song lessons, let alone the, the 200 fly on the walls and the 200 student reviews and the um, hundreds of theory things and all that other stuff. So, um, yes, organization and housekeeping around here is a headache, but we're doing the best we can. So we got got a great team actually scattered all over the world that is, uh, that is constantly working on that. So... Keep the comments coming, and we will ch keep trying to get it to where it's perfect for everybody. <laughs> Not really, but we'll see. Um, okay, let's see. I have a little bit of news on the uh, retreat, TG Town. It might, but you know what? That just popped in my head a little while ago. That might be where it's going because, again, it is going to be so different from a camp. We are going to have a, a couple of guest teachers, artists, um, kind of conducting seminars for the entire group, rather than having to choose between, oh, there are four classes I want to go to right now, which one can I go to? There really won't be much of that. There will be a little, but, um, because there will be, just that's, that's the way it's going to work. But uh, there will be some really special uh, folks joining us, and um, more on that as it evolves. We do have to keep it fairly small, and uh, have not figured out yet what it's going to cost, but it will run between three days. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll run from Thursday night, September 19th through Sunday around noon, September 22nd. And again, we're about an hour, the, the, the center is about an hour from the San Jose airport. So if you want to start thinking about setting aside that, we'll include food, lodging, all that stuff will be included now. The lodging is going to be kind of two or three to a bunk room kind of thing about, about the size of the TG cabin here. Um, and, uh, but be nice, out in nature, in the deep in the heart of the Santa Cruz Mountains. So. Um, let's see, I think, I don't know if I had anything else to tell you about that just yet. Oh, but it will be, probably 30, 35 people is all we can squeeze in, at least on a uh, staying in there basis. We might be able to squeeze in more on a, on a daily basis if you, uh, if you stayed elsewhere or something like that. So, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted as that. Uh, Matt and I have not, Matt is in Australia right now, and hopefully he's coming back in a day or two, but I'm going to be gone all of next week, so we're not, we're not uh, getting a whole lot of communication happening between here and so actually he's probably gonna say hey you shouldn't have told him all that stuff about about uh, TG town but I don't know um, and the last thing I had to do was was tell you about two of these very cool books that I have one I've talked about in the past the other one I haven't in in haven't at all yet um, because it's fairly new and one that everybody should have is the guitar handbook by Ralph 
I don't, I'm not sure how his name is pronounced. It's spelled Denier, D-E-N-Y-E-R. It could just be Daner. I'm, but anyhow, this book's been out for about 20 years, and it's, it's, it's just got, um, it's a great coffee table reference book of almost everything you need to know, including theory, some chords, some history of the guitar, um, articles on great how the guitar evolved, builders, um, great guitar players, Robert Fripp, Andy Summer, Summers, and uh, Frank Zappa, Steve Cropper, Eddie Cochran, S Segovia is probably in here, finger picking styles. So anyway, um, this is something you should really have. And these two books are both listed now on our recommended products page because I found the best place to get them is Amazon. So hit a, there's a link over on our over on the left hand side. We've got all those men menus um, there with the recommended products. Our other two main ones right now, of course, are Guitar Pro and Song Surgeon. So those are two things I use every day. Well, every day I'm doing a lesson, and um, which is almost every day. Uh, the other book is, I know a lot of people have had a good time with our Finger Picking 101 kind of, you know, um, introduction to finger picking. And as I was thinking about getting more elaborate with that and doing finger picking 102 or 201 or whatever and getting you all the way through college, I was speaking to somebody you've probably heard of who has put together a really incredible treatise on finger picking from step one, hand position, um, just all kinds of, I mean, all the basics into really exotic stuff. This book could take you through 20 years of learning how to become a finger picking guitar player. Now, this is uh, one of our Northern California legends of guitar playing, Alex Degrassi. And he uh, is, is definitely a finger style master that has, has dialed it in this book. So, this is another one that's available there. Gets into slapping and tapping techniques, um, all kinds of alternate tuning things, a lot about phrasing. This is at the end of the book. Now, in the beginning of the book, though, it talks about very simple arpeggios, all the kind of stuff that you'd see in Segovia's studies and status, scales and Carcassi, uh, I mean, the right hand exercises by uh, Giuliani and people like that. So, um, if you're looking for something that you can carry with you on a trip or something like that and, and want to, um, have great reference materials, be sure to check out these two books, The Guitar Handbook and Alex DeGrassi's uh, Finger Style Guitar Method. And that means I'm getting back to some of my old tunes. They're all, I'm still butchering them all because many of these I haven't played in 10 years. And that was one of my little goals for last week, or last week was at least to start resurrecting some from the three early albums, well, the three last albums I did that were all original pieces. And I looked down the list, I was handing somebody these the other day, and I looked at them and said, God, you know what, I don't remember how to play half of these songs. There are some I play a lot. There are some I haven't played in six, seven, eight years, and this was one of them. A sound sleep last night. I woke up about two o'clock and it was haunting me, saying, "Oh, I gotta learn that song." And believe it or not, I got up, dug out the music, listened to it as quietly as I could, did not disturb the rest of the house, and, and it was starting to get together. Why can't I do that? I'm gonna get it one more time. There's the note. See. It's C. Play a C. That's it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go work. I got practice. I got to get out of here because I got to get on a plane tomorrow. I will be in Orlando, Florida for a week watching my baby play softball. Well, she's not a baby anymore. She's kind of an adult. Well, a little young adult. Anyway, so if... Uh, Anybody is out there in the Orlando area, shoot me a, a personal message and tell me what else I should be doing besides sitting in the stands watching softball. Wait a minute, how'd that go? Okay, that's it. I hope to see you next week. If not, I will see you in two weeks.